Hey everybody, this is a little tutorial to show you how to avoid gimbal lock. So, as you can see, I've created a five arm position. Now, go to spline and uh, if we go and play, here works. And here, as you can see, this weird rotation happens because of the gimbal lock. So, the first thing you can do is um, going in the graph select all the key, or better, the key where gimbal lock happens, go to curve and her filter, and as you can see, the line change. And now, there is no more gimbal lock. So this solution works sometimes, but not uh, always. So this is could be a first trick, first tip. Sorry. And uh, now I'm trying to show you another way to avoid gimbal lock. Select the key. Now, first of all, I'll try to explain what gimbal lock is and what happened. So the first thing to do is uh, double click here on the rotation rotation icon, select gimbal, and now as you can see, when uh, I rotate the x-axis, the other two axes don't follow. When I rotate the z-axis, the the other two follow, and if I rotate the y-axis only the X follow. Now, if I rotate like this, I can't uh, rotate forward because the X axis is moving. And if I come back to the local and try to animate like this, you have this weird rotation. You you can see the arms go goes down, uh, and this is because happened in lock. So the first step is when you animate is uh, working gimbal mode so you can uh, control better the, the rotation and see um, if there is uh, some rotation you can avoid. This is the first one. The second tip is uh, set up the rotation order. I'll try to explain better. As I said before, double click here, gimbal and click here on this icon and we have the rotate order axis now it's a x y z and we can change to z x y and uh, as you can see this time the the gimbal lock happens when you rotate forward because we can rotate side to side so try to uh, set up the the rotate order and um, and see which is the best uh, solution for you. Unfortunately, in the forwards kinematic, this value is not uh, animable. But if you work in the inverse kinematics or for the other controller like uh, hip or head, uh, you can animate this uh, this controller. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you how how to do this. First of all, select here go to inverse kinematics and uh, move forward the the arms and now if you rotate uh, the the hand just like this you can't uh, rotate it down because the axe missing so the first thing to do is uh, Go to Windows, General Editors, Channel Control, select the Rotate Order and move to the left column. Close. And now we have this uh, value here. So set a key here and another key here when, uh, as you can see, the uh, Y axis is missing. And make another key here and change the axis from X, Y, Z to Z, X, Y, and now we have the the axis. 
so here, here, and here. And now you can animate your hand without any gimbal lock. And this is works. I hope this is uh, helpful and if you have any question let me know. Bye guys!